Okay, 2-2 two, two is all about formulas, and formulas are recursive equations that generally have more than one variable involved or more than one unknown involved. So I'm just going to go through three examples that kind of increase in difficulty level as I go of what you might have to do in your homework. Okay, so this is an example of a simple interest formula. I stands for interest, P stands for principal, so it's the amount that was loaned or borrowed or invested or whoever, so it's the amount of money. R is the interest rate, so like 5% or 7% or whoever, and T is time. Not important for what I want to do now, let's just solve for R. And so if this were a regular old equation where we had numbers multiplied by R, if it was 10 equals 5R, we'd divide both sides by 5, okay? Well, there's two things being multiplied by r, p and t. So guess what? We just divide by those things. If it were 5r, it's 5 times r. We divide by 5. It's these two things, p and t, divided by are being multiplied by r. So we divide by them in order to cancel them out. Okay? And so... Cancel, cancel, trying to at least. So we have is I, the interest rate, excuse me, the interest, not, is equal, or I over the P times T. And I probably should make that obviously an I. I, I. All right. No, let's pray that didn't work real well. Okay, I over P times T is equal to R. Okay? So whatever numbers or unknowns of variables are being multiplied by R, you just divide by those things, cancel them out. Division cancels out multiplication. Even if it's other variables, other unknowns, it doesn't have to be just a regular old number. You know, divide by the P, divide by the T, and it'll cancel out P and T. So there you go. So this is the answer. I over P times T. Let's check out this one. Okay, so here, this is the formula for the area of a trapezoid. All right, trapezoid, you have two bases, B1 and B2. The height is the distance between bases. Whatever, I don't care. All right, let's solve for B2. That's what I want to, this is purely the algebra. Okay, and so for this one, you have some strategy. You have a couple different things you can do, but what I think would be easiest would be multiply both sides by 2 first. So times 2. Uh... I don't really have any space, so times 2. And then right here, we're multiplying by 2 here as well. So we get 2a equals, well, 2 times a half is 1. So you really just cancel out. And so you're left with h times b1 plus b2. The little one and two, you guys have seen that in other classes, called, other classes called subscripts. There's multiple bases, you don't want to change the variable letter, so you put little numbers called subscripts to distinguish between the bases. All right, and then a couple different things you could do. You could distribute the H, or you just divide by the H. I would just divide by H, because that's easiest. So you divide both sides by H. Okay, because they cancel. Okay, just like the two and one half cancels here. So you're left with 2a over h equals b1 plus b2. And my handwriting is horrible on this thing. I'm still getting learning. And then we're solving for b2, so we just subtract b1 from both sides and we get 2a over H minus B1 equals B2. All right, and so there you go. All right, that's the answer. Oh, that's hideous. I'm going to pretend that didn't happen. So B2, solve for B2 means get B2 by itself, and voila, B2 is by itself. B2, B2 equals all this stuff. All right. So R is solved for uh, by itself. So we solve for R in the blue. B2 is by itself, so we solve for B2 in this one. All right, so here's the hardest one, I think. And it's related to, I mean, what we did today with all the fraction-y problems. 
All right, we got a bunch of fractions. If you want to solve for a, a strategy that you could do that would be uh, pretty effective is very similar to what we did today in class with all the fraction answers. Find common denominators and multiply both sides by the common denominator. So the least common denominator is 2ab. 2 times a times b is the least common denominator here. Okay, so we multiply everything by that. So let me go ahead, I'm going to clone this, maybe. Okay, so we multiply everything by 2AB. So we two a b, and then this gets multiplied by 2ab. So on the right, if you notice, the, the 2's should cross cancel. So you're just left with ab. Oops. A, B. Here, the 2AB, we get 2AB over A plus 2AB over B. Okay, so you distribute, remember this is over 1, and so you distribute the 2AB AB times 1 is 2AB. 2AB times 1 is 2AB again, and then 1 times A is A, 1 times B is B. So you distribute. Remember, that's how you, multiply, you know, multiply fractions. And then notice, cancel and cancel. So what happens is you have no more fractions, which is nice. 2B plus 2A equals AB. And so, like I said, this is definitely the hardest one. Like, check it out. This one was what, one step. This guy only had, like, maybe three steps. I already got a lot of steps going on in this problem. But we're almost home free, there's no more fractions. So here's how you handle something like this. And this kind of deal, where yeah, you're solving for A and there's two different A's, this kind of comes up sometimes. And what you do is you get all the stuff with A in it on one side and all the stuff without on the other. So if I subtract 2A from both sides, we get AB minus 2A. Okay, and here is a trick that works a lot. See the A's? Factor it out. Once you get b minus 2, I know you might be a little rusty with factoring, but uh, it is something that's in earlier classes, so you kind of expect it to maybe remember it. a is in both of these things, so you can write it out in front, and then what's left over, well, we took out an a, so there's just the b. We took out the a here, so there's the 2. And so last but not least, we have one more step, and then the video's over. Hooray. We're solving for a. It's a times this thing, this whole thing. So guess what? We divide by that whole thing. Okay. And so what are we left with? We're left with a equals, okay, uh, cross, cross, right, b minus 2 and b minus 2. These are two factors. If you have a factor on the top and bottom, you can cross them off and cancel them. Okay, that's what happened here. A factor of b, factor of b, voila, they're gone. A and a, voila, they're gone. Heck, here, the 2 and the 2, they're gone. Same. It's all the same thing, really. So b minus 2 and b minus 2 are factors. They're on the top and the bottom to cancel out. So you're just left with 2. Oh, there's too many colors, but it's too late. And there's your answer, 2b over b minus 2. And that's a pretty tough, darn tough problem. Alright, so there you go. Hopefully that is helpful for the work we're going to do in class tomorrow.